afternoon, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and right behind me, we have Dixon Bull. Again, because I have no idea what the hell is going on with this property and gimbal. Bitch, please keep me in focus. But <laughs> yeah, this gimbal is still trying me. I'm getting better at using it, but it's still extremely fucking complicated. So yeah, as you can see, it's fenced off again. And yeah, because last time we were here, which was about two weeks ago before, you know, ankle injuries and all that kind of stuff. There was no fences, nothing. So this is my third video about this property. I did two of these previously. And also my friend Kiefer did a video here and he actually went inside right here. And yours truly also reacted to said video when he was broken. So yeah. <laughs> Links to all those videos will be in the description, but yeah. So I thought we would check out this place. Why is it fenced off again? What the hell is the future? And also I wanted to let you guys know, I am starting a documentary about this property. So it should be up probably around week's end or next week, I'm not 100% sure. I wanna put a lot of effort into it. So it's not gonna be something I'm gonna to throw together in like 30 seconds. So long convoluted intro aside, let's take a walk around it and see Bitch, keep me in focus, Gimbal. Okay, let me try that again. Let's flip the camera and check out, see what's new. So, please stand by. Guys, I am so fucking mad right now. Like, you have no idea how pissed off I am. So apparently, I don't know what happened, but the entire file, it was like a 15 minute video just disappeared into the ether, so. I swore I pressed record. It wasn't that this time. I know I did that a couple times, but no, it was recording guys. But apparently maybe the phone overheated or something, it, something happened, but the entire video I hear just vanished from existence. So, uh, fuck me. I guess we're doing this again for a second time, which I'm not thrilled about by any means. Oh, fuck. Like, come the fuck on. Like, it was recording. Come on, God damn it. It better be recording this time or I'm just gonna fucking like throw something out a goddamn window. But <laughs> is there any windows around here? Uh, no, and all the windows there are boarded up and I'm not even in a building. So I don't know how I'm gonna throw something out a goddamn window. <sighs> all right, without further ado, yeah, let's walk around. <sighs> so yeah. So the new fences are from a fence, a, fence, a fence company called Orange Fence Rentals. Because as you can see, the fences are now orange. So yeah, I have no idea why this, these fences came down. So yeah, really weird. I have a theory though. I'll get into it in a bit late. In a, yeah, why? I was able to narrate the entire fucking last video, but now I can't talk at all. So what the fuck's going on here? But I'll tell you in a bit what I think is going on. But yeah, all the fences came down for some reason. So my last video, I got to get up close and personal. And yeah, like I said, my friend was able to get inside, which was pretty fucking awesome. He's fucking crazy, but well, apparently I am too, because if I had the opportunity today, I would go inside without hesitation. But yeah. after my last walk around doing this video, apparently that's not happening because this place is sealed up tighter than a nun's cunt. <laughs> so yeah, what? but yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Like. So yeah, this place was supposed to be demolished and turned into like a luxury apartments, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but sorry, somebody was walking past, but yeah, this place was supposed to be torn down and turned into luxury apartments. Here's a little like a blueprint of what the property was supposed to look like. So Dixon Bull and whatever the fuck that was, was supposed to 
get torn down and yeah it was supposed to look like something like this but i think the plan fell through the city didn't give them the proper permits or something so i do not know what the hell is going on with this property at all because it was supposed to be demolished just for by city order i think back in the beginning of 2020 or the end of 2019 but some delays happened and then rona happened so everything got kind of fucked up so yeah i have no idea why this place is still here i'm surprised it's still standing because by the look of it inside i'm just surprised this place hasn't burned down yet i'm really surprised because yeah a lot of breaking and entering and yeah because unfortunately that happens to a lot of abandoned structures somebody breaks in starts a fire for warmth or something and fire gets out of control and boom bitch joy manufacturing that's all i have to say if you live in cambridge you know exactly what the fuck i'm talking about but if you don't joy was a abandoned factory that was abandoned for close to 30 years and it burned down like eight times so the fire department finally said yeah fuck it we're not going to save it next time it goes up so they finally demolished it so yeah that's why i'm honestly surprised this place hasn't gone up in flames so as you can see the fences are all around the property you can't even get close to it even up here which is a real damn shame. A real damn shame because, oh my God, I wanna go inside so bad, but <laughs> yeah. I even have a proper mask in my bag just in case I was able to, but nope. Because I don't trust the fumes in there. but I would have gone in during the day. Kiefer, you're awesome, man, but you're also fucking insane. <laughs> Can't believe you actually went in there that night. Oh my God, man. Oh my fucking God. And they literally found a fucking spear inside of it. Like, I'm not kidding. Here's a little clip from their video. Oh, that's lovely. Right? Literally, there was a fucking, like, homemade spear inside of this place like like what the fuck was going on in there was there like like homeless fighting rings or something going on up in this bitch i don't know that was like fucking creepy <laughs> like i have no fucking idea what's going on with this property guys like i think the city should just tear it down like they did with joy but yeah it is insane. So yeah, this path will lead us right back down to the terminal. So here's my theory about the fencing. So I don't know if you guys remember, but from my last video back in, I think June of 2020, not 2020, I didn't even do this in 2020, June of 2021, the fences were all silver. And yeah, they're up until I think like three weeks ago. And for some reason, the fences came down. And now these fences are back up, but they're new fences. So I'm thinking the contract with the old fence company ended or something. So they weren't able to rent out the fences anymore. So they just came up and repoed the fucking fences. <laughs> that just sounds so stupid, but true so yeah so the place was unsecure all the homeless came in a bunch of urbex people came in and they were like oh yeah fuck we're gonna need a new fence contract so they hit up this orange fence rentals and yeah so yeah the fences are back up there's no sign of demolition. Like normally when something's gonna be demolished, there's a big sign saying, 
whatever company, blah, 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 demolition and yeah. So yeah, I'm surprised guys, but I have no fucking idea what's going on with this property. <laughs> As you can tell, because the title is literally called what the hell's going on with this bowling alley? <laughs> because awesome thumbnail opportunity, bitches. But yeah, this is like fucking insane. So yeah, like I think I was saying at the beginning of the video, I am gonna do a documentary here like really in-depth deep dive of when it opened, when it closed, all that. I have a lot of B-roll. My friend just gave me permission to use his indoor video. So I'm, I have a lot of footage for you guys to use. So for the first time ever, I am gonna go really in-depth in a property, show you, not show you, tell you everything. Like just a really deep dive, which I think is gonna be fun. And yeah, it's kind of an experimental video though. so. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's not going to be a normal video by any means. I'm probably going to be a lot more polite. And since it's more information driven, it's not going to be as comical as my normal footage or videos or whatever the fuck you want to call them. But yeah, fucking spears inside of this place. Like what the fuck is going on here? Guys, like it's insane. <laughs> like, holy crap, guys, like fuck me. So yeah. It's still recording, thank God. So if I had to do this a third time, I would have been like super fucking pissed. I would have just thrown my gimbal on the street. No, this thing cost me almost $200. So I am not throwing this on the street, but I would have raged and yelled a lot, but, <laughs> but yeah, everything seems to be good with this recording. So yeah, guys, I have no idea what the future of this holds. Like I said, the development picture again right here is unfortunately been canceled. So this property's future is very uncertain. So well, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out, see what's gonna happen, but I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. Like, shit. Yeah, holy fuck. So I'm just picturing like the fucking repo men coming to take the old fences away. <laughs> That's like hilarious to think about, honestly, but yeah. So without further ado, I guess please stand by while I flip the camera so we can end this video off. So guys, I can confirm attempt two has been saved on my camera app. So there's no reason for it to disappear on me, which is great <laughs> because like I said, I would have been really super pissed if that got corrupted or something and I had to do this a third time, but yeah, guys, I guess nothing really else to say. And hmm, it was kind of exciting to check this place out again, see the new fencing. And hopefully the future of this property is bright. I'm not sure, but it's kind of sad to see it like this. So hopefully something will happen here soon. And yeah, I'll link my friends, uh, indoor exploration of this place in the description. So I would definitely check that out. Freaking spears aside, it was a pretty awesome video. And yeah, I guess there's really nothing else to say. So guys, like always, live life to the absolute fullest and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.